<laughs> if y'all niggas don't start. He usually needs a few minutes so he know where to start editing anyway. We got this. You just came back to this. We've been true to this. I thought this I thought I at least had another episode before she said that. <laughs> <laughs> up everybody this is what they won't say and as you know i am your girl courtney lynette and i am with kevin <laughs> we i'm not about to do it it's okay i'm ua and today we have mr whole damn himself mm-hmm. mr jared whole damn everything how you doing today can i start with a question yeah, yeah. Good question. No, no. <laughs> I'm sure he's good. Listen, <laughs> is your name is your last name really damn? No, no. My okay, last name is not really damn. Up. No. I've been no. watching. That's uh, like, to the that's like the, 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 the meme going around. Like, if you had the dinner with Jay Z, you ask him is the last name. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, me, that's, the point. that's your first question? <laughs> I, I mean, you, that way you can look up on Wikipedia, so you wouldn't even ask that question. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am so I am super excited to have you on the show because before you blow up, I just wanted on camera that we are friends and we have been friends. So when you get big and break out, you can't forget about this little person because I'm gonna re-air this show. We already uh, every year. Interview celebrities. I actually, I actually thought it was the other way around. I thought when y'all blow up, I could sit there and be like, "Yo, I was on y'all's show." I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's what's up. We blowing up together. Don't even, this is up. it. All right. We blow up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Absolutely, that. let's do it. Right. Your shirt is fire. You got like oh, thank you. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It, it is damn university. It is, it is my uh my 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 brand. It's um uh, it's available. Um, oh, I got a link in my bio um, at the whole <laughs> damn show. And we definitely so, gonna get all of your contact information so we can post yeah. it down below. But Absolutely. But we still wanna jump in. I just have a couple of questions cause you know, I'm a fan. So, um, and I also make your awards every year. So I just wanna you, put you do. You, so, do, you do, you do, you <laughs> do. Um, for those of you who don't know, well, what do you go by? You want us to call you by your first name or? Yeah, Jared, Jared's fine. Yeah. Jared's fine? Cool. Yeah, Jared. So if you don't know, or if you haven't followed Jared, Jared has like a multi-social platform that he's on. He has a podcast. He has a newsletter. At the end of the year, he has an awards recap for like people that he just see out in the world doing it. Like people in his area, people not in his area. It's amazing. He is doing what we have begun to do. So that's exactly why I wanted to have him on the show. Um, how did you get started or what made you come up with this idea? Um, well, first of all, thank you for that. Like I was blushing like the whole time. Like I, you know, cause you know what, as a, as a content creator, you don't really realize or really think about who is that, who actually has eyes on you. So when, when people recognize what you're doing, it's, it's, it's really big. Now, as far as me, I started I started Brighton. This is how I really got started. I, I moved to Connecticut, staying with my dad. My dad had a couple strokes. So I was, you know, trying to be the good son or whatever. Now I moved up there. That was that was prior to the internet, prior to social media. Um, and, and, and that was back then when you had to have phone cards and them mm-hmm. things was expensive. You know what I mean? Like I ain't had no minutes. My minutes, my minutes started after, no, we weren't even after seven, it was after nine. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, I need to figure out a way to communicate with my friends. And so that's when I decided to, to, to write a newsletter. And like once a week, I would start blogging about stuff. I just talk about what's, what I, what's going on with me. You know, I'll start talking about what I'm, what I'm currently working on. I'll give a shout out of the week. And then at the end, I'll, I'll come up with some little life lesson that I got by somebody, one of my friends talking to me or a life lesson about a girl breaking, breaking my heart or something. And I just kind of put it together and it came once a week. And all of a sudden I was like, maybe I shouldn't be doing the email. Maybe I should be, you know, put it on a website and maybe writing a blog about it. And then from there, everyone was like, well, why aren't you doing podcasts? I'm like, I don't know why I'm not doing podcasts. (laughs) 
So, you know, you, you begin to kind of talk about it with friends and one thing leads to another. You start doing a podcast, you're doing a podcast with like three of your friends and you're producing a podcast. You're like, I don't have time to do shit else. I've, that's all I do with digital content now. Right. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's amazing. And I've been looking at your following and you have like quite a quite a few fans like yes, already. Sir. Are they, do you find that they're mostly in your area? Cause you're in Atlanta? I am. I'm in, I'm in Atlanta. Uh, so it's, it's, it's split between Atlanta and where I'm originally from, Shreveport, Louisiana. Shout out to Shreveport. Um, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm originally from Louisiana. So that, that the Northeastern part of Louisiana, um, you know, they show me a lot of love as well. So it's split between the majority of those two areas. Awesome. So what would you say that you attribute your success to? Oh, uh, you know what? It's, it's perseverance. Um, in, in any success that I've, I've gotten thus far, it's been because I keep pushing to do it. Cause let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do this shit. <laughs> like half the time I want, I want to quit every fucking week. I want to quit every week. Um, I can't cuss on her. I can cuss. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, shit. That great. <laughs> right all right but um i want to quit every fucking week i really do like i i like I, i'll look at stuff i'll look at stats i, I don't know where i want to be just yet i'm like let me fine tune some stuff even before we started this i was like all right i gotta promote that i got a podcast coming out tomorrow let me just start working in canva and doing this but i want to quit every day but i don't I keep pushing forward. I might complain. I might throw some stuff. I got shit broken over here in the back. Don't even worry about looking at it. I do all, I, I haven't all that stuff happen, but I don't quit. And, and that's the important thing. You just got to show up. Mm-hmm. So do you find yourself getting like, hey, we haven't seen you post in a while. When are you coming back or stuff like that? Yeah, I get that. I get that every time I, I announce that I'm quitting, especially around <laughs> the real time. So... Um, you know, you know, Courtney, you kind of touched upon it. The, the, the damn awards is my like year in awards. I do. I, I have to start that. Actually, it's I didn't start that now. Like, <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm like behind. And so it's it's going through about 25 different uh, categories, picking just picking random people, um, nominees, like so four or five in each category. I always try to make it bigger and bigger every year. And I want to quit because it takes so much time. And then, and then for that, you're writing it for you, it to be out there on January 1st. And then, and then what you get, you get a uh, DM saying, hey, uh, I should have been, I should have won this. I, uh, I ain't get nominated for this. Yeah. People, but you know what? That's, I, I look, at, look at that as like, hey, these people really are invested. They're like, yo, I need to win an award. So, yeah. but but usually right before I start doing the awards, I'm like, fuck this shit. I, ain't, I am not trying <laughs> to do this. And I make an announcement and say, yo, what if I don't do the damn awards this year? And then I get a lot of stuff. Oh, on my no, 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 no. Yeah. Because yeah. I'd be one of them. I'd be like, uh-uh. So, I need you. So when you come out with that, <laughs> when you come out with that uh, category for best new podcast, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and uh, what they won't say going to be up there, I hope so. I mean, you, you know what? I want us to win on our own merit. I want him to choose us because he wants to choose us. If we don't expect the DM, it's definitely not. I'm okay with the DM. I've been knowing Jared since 2017. Word. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been nominated for the past four years. And as petty as I am, I've never went in his DM and was like, well, why you didn't choose me for such and such and such? We, we just got to understand that. I just know my face get out there. So the podcast is going to get up there this year. I oh, think. I believe it. <laughs> I, you know what? It, it's, it's much podcast and much digital content as I've been consuming. I think it's a, I think you actually, it's a good idea to actually do a category for that. I don't think I have a category for that. So y'all have inspired me. Yeah, oh, look at that. well, shit. Yeah. I got to say, you right. already inspired me. Um, I have a question. Sure. Okay. Like so, your so I listened to your podcast about when you did it with the cast of uh, well the cast of uh, situationships, mm-hmm. and that was like really dope to me. So how did you how did that come about? Because I feel like like I feel like we're interviewing a celebrity right now, 
And then it feels like you ha- are interviewing celebrities yourself because the way you were speaking, and I know, and like you said, you weren't feeling it, but you were like sick at that time. Are you just reco- be recovering from being sick? Like, how did that come about? And like, how did you like reach out to people out, out on YouTube and just be like, hey, this is my podcast. You should got you guys should come do an interview. How did that happen? Well, luckily, um, the the producer is is from Shreveport. I, I I've known her for quite. A, I mean, the director and executive producer. I've known her for quite a long time. But mm-hmm. <laughs> excuse me, I look. I'm always in somebody DMs um, shooting my shot for the podcast for the for the podcast. Not not for nothing else because I'm right because we didn't uh, bring I, you up here to get you in trouble. Don't do that. Oh, I'm, I'm single. I, I'll be shooting my shot whenever I shoot my shot. I mean, but <laughs> just for this particular, <laughs> just for this particular thing, is for the podcast. Like just today, I, 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 I was somebody made some kind of mention and I commented on something. And I was like, she was like, oh, I just, I just love chatting it up. I'm like, well, if you ever feel too chatty, you can be on. It's about damn time. And okay. and, and it just, it just taking that, that take that opportunity. I still have a list of people. That I'm like, I want to do episodes with. Like I write it down. I write it down the person, and I write down like maybe maybe something that we can talk about that I've I've gotten from their social media, like something they're posting. I'm like, ooh, that's a good mm-hmm. idea, and I write it down. They don't know that I'm reaching. I'm gonna reach out to them, but by the time I do reach out to them, they're like, well, what are we gonna talk about? Well, here's what I was thinking, and I got this whole paragraph pitch that I already give them, and they'd be like, well, shit, that that sounds good, and so then I just be like, well, great. Here's a calendar leak. Uh, here's my available schedule for recording. Let's let's schedule this. That's so I, I, I've learned, just like my third season, I've learned to really put that pressure on people now in order to do that. They, they want to know what's going on. If they'll be open to do it, but you got to be prepared to, just, to have everything laid out for them. That's awesome. And you just gave me some organizational tips. Because I know you did. was looking yeah. at your inbox like, girl, get it together. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I've been there. I, I've been, I've been in that struggle. Like I, I just got halfway organized like this season. So what I'm on episode seven now. So it's been like what, eight <laughs> weeks. So it ain't even been that long. Yeah. <laughs> so wh- whatever, whatever shit that I find, you are more than welcome to have. I'll see like my calendar link so y'all can take a look at that. I want, I want everybody to win, and I, and and y'all have great chemistry. Like I said, I, I, I'm a fan of y'all's as well. So I'll be I'll be watching, and I'm and I'm glad that we, I, I'm glad to be here. I'll just tell you that straight up. I'm glad to be here. Shoot, we I glad to have you. Yeah. So the reason I rock with Jared so hard is because if we go a while without posting, he in my inbox like how he be talking about people being his. Word. He be like, so what's going on with the podcast? Like <laughs> you ain't posted nothing in a while. Okay, Where you at? Okay. He literally holds me accountable. So even though he in the background and a lot of people like don't see us conversing, I'm, I'm glad to have that in you. Like you keep me going, honestly. Mm-hmm. That's a perfect segue. Absolutely. Because I, I was I was going to reach out. I was going to reach out because I was like, look, I know y'all been doing live. I was like, hey, I see this last post. When, when the last post? <laughs> the post been a little while. Let's start posting y'all. Let's start getting these numbers up. So I'm, I'm, I'm cheering for y'all. I'm really, I really am. But yeah, perfect segue into my question. Like um, social media, how much of that correlation have you seen? Like from the beginning, is it, go ahead, Jamie, you got me. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> come on, man. They can't see nothing. Right? I didn't even know. What <laughs> but, um, me. From the beginning of when you started to now, the correlation between your success and how involved you are, not just in your brand, but specifically in your podcast. When uh, when it comes to sh- social media, how how have you seen that uh, affected? Social media is big, and, and I'm gonna tell you something. I'm I'm a I'm naturally an introvert, so I hate Ooh. having. I don't want to. I don't want to do reels. I don't want to sit there and be doing no posts. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to do. I, I don't want to do a fucking story. I don't know. I don't want to do none of this. Shit. But like, but what I, I realized like is fifteen post story. The he damn sure did. No. And you don't do I just, shit. Kev, I, I just saw your post. Was, you was like, yo, I'm posting, you know, like I like, the lights <laughs> on and stuff like that. I just saw it. I just saw it. I was like, well. Wait, 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 wait. Pause your question because Lord have mercy. Oh, boy. Are you serious right now? Oh, boy.
I get it. This is going in the yeah. edit, just so y'all know. <laughs> no, no, I really? love it. You saw that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had the camera. What you mean? <laughs> I was I was more so thinking that you wouldn't see it until you started editing. My bad. <laughs> I'm zooming in. I am, on I that am. Shit. I'm zooming in. Please, please continue because I am sorry. so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but social social media plays a, a a big part just because we don't want to do it. How you have you have to stay present on people's minds. And the fact that the fact that people are on social media, whether, whether they at work or not, they scrolling, they scrolling. And so, and so I, I before before this season, I would I was posting like, you know, once a week, maybe a clip or post, you know, you know, twice a week, and then begin and then getting mad at my numbers. Like, you know, why, you know, why y'all ain't looking at this? I'm like, oh, you post something? But then I realized, <laughs> oh. Oh, these motherfuckers ain't on social media like I'm on social media. So I got to make sure to put it in their face at all times. So real stories, I need to go live. I mean, y'all be going live and everything. I Look, that be giving me anxiety. I'm, I need to like take like a like a, a couple shots of tequila before I, I go live. But I'm going to start going yourself, live. Right? I do. I, well, as far as my podcast, yeah. Now with, with the with the, uh, the Vex Intellects, um, and our podcast comes out every Thursday, um, I, it's me and it's me and um, four other guys. So we, yeah. we have we have yeah. that talk about current events and in social uh, relationship issues, things of that nature. So that takes a little bit of the pressure off for that particular podcast, mm -hmm. which is good because between my own and then you know whatever podcast that I've, I've started picking up producing, it gets a little it gets a little much. Yeah, I understand. I get that. But that's probably why you get an anxiety because you basically talking most of the time to yourself, like in the camera. So going live may not be where you want to go immediately. So I get it. Yeah, but I got to suck it up. Cause I mean, cause it's, it's, it's really about that video. And that's, and that's what, um, if, if you, if you've seen anything when looking at TikTok and how, and how IG is really gravitating towards reels, people need to connect to you from a from that from that social standpoint, they want to see the video. They want to hear the words coming out. So yes, you you could do a clip to have a picture in it. Yeah, you you know yeah you could sit there and have a fire ass post. Yeah, I might you know be rocking a, a damn new shirt like this. You know I I, I might I might be able to do all of that, but unless they see me talking, that's when you really get that true engagement. I like it because if I didn't have Larry and Curly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go live. Who the fuck is Curly? <laughs> you know, I'm pointing. I know Larry exactly Curly. who Curly is. One. And I, I just told uh, yeah, three yeah, teenagers, yeah, yeah. three stooges yesterday at work. Yeah, yeah. But man, you don't get the fuck out of here. So well, I'm well, I'm shimp, then I'm shimp. All well, right, I'm, I'm all, with it. Let me. I followed you on social media. It's gonna be a weird like you and an A. So just so you know, I got you. I'm gonna follow him back. I want to be followed back by a celebrity. Yes. I am not not just ask for a follow for yes. Follow. Yes, I did. Look, I did. Look, I am. I am going I'm right now. A university shirt. I, hey, cool. please, please. And, and, and you know, um, one thing that I do want to mention what, what, in talking about damn you in October yeah. um, for for. Uh, hey, I didn't think of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> damn you. <laughs> yeah. Damn you. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, because the back, the back, the back got a big damn that you on it. That shit is dope. I didn't think yeah. about damn you. <laughs> yeah. So, so for for October, I'm actually I'm actually having pink damn you shirts for breast cancer awareness. And I'm gonna oh, have some, of, I'm, yeah. and I'm gonna have some of those proceeds actually go to a local a local breast cancer charity. So that's, so that's what I that's what I've been working on this morning. So it's, it's coming soon. That's what's up. Yeah. So now I'm about to get you in trouble. You ready? All right, give me in trouble. I'm ready. Who has been your favorite guest on your show and oh, why? Shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, shit. Damn. Um, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm going to sit there and uh, get out of this easily and say my mama. I okay. did an episode. I did an episode with my mom. See, that way nobody else is sitting there getting me. Nobody else yell at me. Yeah. I I was able to have a, a a podcast episode with my mom and it was First of all, the conversation was weird as hell. The 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 fact that we we were we were having a pod, we were, and she mentioned it. I wanted, I knew I wanted to bring her on. I know we wanted to talk about something because we have such a weird relationship. Like I'm I'm literally her best friend, 
And so she started telling me about masturbation. And I was like, I'm sorry, mama, what, 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 we, what we doing? <laughs> what's, what's happening? I mean, I, I know we friends. <laughs> I don't know I'm grown, uh, but for real? Your mama said she masturbates? No. But she wanted oh to talk God. about it. Because I was scared. <laughs> but she was but she wanted to talk about it. Cause she because for some reason it was it, it was on her heart and soul. I don't know if how if did y'all Jesus... get to masturbation? I don't know. I, I literally came home for a weekend and she was sitting there. You know what? I know what it was. She was she was she said that she had caught my stepdad. <laughs> oh my and she caught my stepdad. <laughs> and I'm trying to shoot him some bail. I'm like, well, mom, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. You asleep, you know, my man trying to do what he got to do, you know? And so it went on from there and we had actually had a conversation about it. And I was like, you know what? Let me, let me hit the record button. This, this is crazy. That's funny. So, That's going to be me and my son. Bet money. Bet money. Yeah. Do you have your mom on the show? Hell no. Please. <laughs> Hell no. Like, I really think we should have My mama, mama will Producer curse. Said no. Everybody in this room out, and I, that's what I want to smack me on camera and walk the fuck off. That's no. what I. That's what I want. That's what you want. Yes. Okay. That, well, when she smack me, I'm fucking you up. <laughs> the fuck? Who wants shit like all that? Of your mama smoke. <laughs> it <laughs> it does sound like an entertaining <laughs> show. I don't know. It what? It does sound entertaining as fuck. I don't, I don't I know. know. Her, mom, her mom is like hilarious, and she gonna hilariously stay her ass where she at. <laughs> respectfully we mama we got my respectfully mama hell no <laughs> no sorry. offense miss Benita, because i know you watch the show but mm-mm, girl <laughs> you two likes right in for me <laughs> <laughs> you got any family members you want to break on the show <laughs> you get it oh, okay. he good man <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> So in a perfect world, right? What would you want your brand, damn you, what would you want it to do? Where do you want it to go? Um, that's a great question. For for me, I I'm all about helping others. I've always been about that. So so now I, I if I could combine my two passions of helping others and in creating content, that would be great. Like I I, I see eventually you know, the whole damn show being almost like a, a record label for, for digital content creators, you know, where, where, where I'm, where we're able to sit there and help um, with production for whether, whether, whether you're, you know, you're a TikTok person, whether, you, whether you, you know, just want to make uh, visual content in, in quick bites, like reels or, 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 or small YouTube shorts, whether you want to do podcasts, just you know, man, managing people's careers, helping them sit there and monetize so they can take their career to the next level, while while they can do do the things they want to do best and just create. Because it's I know firsthand it is hard to wear all these fucking hats while you're trying to do everything. And so Ooh. when I get when I get in the creator mode, I'm in creator mode. I don't want to fucking worry about designing shirts. That's why I had to pick today to design shirts because I know tomorrow I'm gonna be editing podcasts. So it's like, and promoting podcast. So it's really hard. And if I could create a, a you know, a, a rock nation of, of, of digital content creators where it's all all in one thing, that's that's where I want to take it to that level. That's awesome. I was ready for that question. You see, I nailed that, that shit. Dope. That <laughs> no, that, that's dope. And honestly, hyped. when you ready to start cutting these um, checks right. to sign people, I'm inspired. Like what they won't say, like, you'll be uh, there. Yeah, I'm <laughs> saying. I'm saying. I follow out with some shit. You're going to be dope. That's going to be dope. Yeah. I, yo, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. I, uh, I got coached today that I need, it's the, the importance of having a team. So I need, that's what I need to be working on next. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, creating a team. So I won't have to shoulder the, all of that. And then maybe then I can expand. So yeah, right. I got trust issues. So these are my babies. <laughs> so. So we got a team. Yeah, we did. So I'm, like I'm, literally, it just kind of fell together. Yeah. I'll, see, y'all already hit the game. Like having a team. executive producers over here, or oh, one of them. Slash bartender. Slash content creator. All right. What up? All right. He definitely, he's definitely coming through on the bar. But honestly, box. that that just that just came with people uh, like people approaching us and saying that they want 
to be a part of what we got going on. And luckily we have people that see the dime, the diamond in our roughness. Mm-hmm. And want to help tune that. Speaking of which, everybody really? that's Dr. Stoner? Like this week. Is that how you feeling right now? I, I um, Dr. Stoner. Oh, okay. Really? Sorry, Dr. Stoner. You really all over the place. He just right? Like, oh, <laughs> Dr. Stoner's. Whiskey. He didn't take his ADHD. And was that not what you've been drinking the whole time? No. Oh, you got real excited about that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm you said everyone who's been hitting you up this week. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Because, like, uh, like you said before, that whole posting thing and people wanting to see the video thing, I ain't think anybody's gonna get as excited as they did. But um, one, I ain't never had that many people view my story. Um, <laughs> yeah, they ever, know. ever. Like, um, and I, I think I done posted some fire shit. Before. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but I've never had that many people post my story and that many people reach out. Just you know, whether it just been showing love. Or hey, I I want to link up and do this. Um, if you ever looking for a guest, let's talk about this. But um, that was just me saying to all y'all, I hear you. We're definitely gonna talk. But to my uh, next question, you said you like um that this you see it, you really like helping people, and in your bio, so you uh, you promote yourself as a mental health advocate. Um, especially as a black man and having this platform, like how do you, how have you seen one, the ability to connect with others through that and how that come about just in general, you finding the, uh, I guess, more so the courage to, to come out and portray yourself that way. Uh, the, the courage is hard. Like I've, like I've, I've been, I've literally dealt with severe depression and anxiety mm. my entire adult life. And so what, whether or not it was now, it was kind of diagnosed in college a little bit, but you know, that's going to like, you know, the, the counselor on campus that, that they studying to do it themselves and not, and they like, come back. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I just, I just cried in your office. I'm good. No, that's, <laughs> I'm good now. I'm good. But you know, as you get older and you don't, and those issues that you don't address, um, you know, come up a little bit more prevalent, you start thinking to yourself, like, yo, I, I got some serious shit happening with me. And I've, I've had I've had these breakdowns where, um, you know, I, I, I just didn't want to live. I had breakdowns where I I had to literally go to a mental health hospital for a while. I I was there for like five days. I you know I was mad as hell too because I was trying to get to Detroit to get to some. I, well, I was trying to do, visit somebody and they wouldn't <laughs> let me because. <laughs> hey, this is what they won't say. So say yeah, whatever was, you gotta say. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. I was I was literally trying to sit there and, and get to this woman that I I had plans on doing some things with. But go. they was like, yo, they was like, nah, you you you, know, you need to be in here for a while. So I had I had real life issues that were that was occurring. You know, it just it just so happened. Um I decided maybe a year after I got to my my lowest point where I clearly was about to take my own life and I just happened. I was on my way to to see a therapist because I knew I was at the brink, and and what and what happened was I was running late. It's Atlanta, Friday traffic. It's raining, and it was like Valentine's Day weekend, so I was fucked. Like I I, I was not making my appointment, and and it ended up just I was about to give up, and she happened to call me like, "Hey, I just want to check on you. Please stay there. I'm on my way. I'm on my way." And that conversation propelled me to save my life. So a year later. When I when I finally launched my site, I said, "This has to be the first blog post that I post," and it had, I had to sit there and talk about it. I've, I had I've had it before where I've I've written about it, and people would say, "I love that you're doing this. I feel the same way. Thank you for doing it." And it gave me the courage to really do it. But until that 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 part that time, I think it was like 2016 when I when I did that post. That was like the biggest post for me because. It's online. Everybody's there to see it, and I'm promoting it. So I was like, "Fuck!" And it's scary every time you do it. Like, I want to be there. I want to be that that spokesperson. I want to sit there and 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 break that stigma of mental health. But at the same time, you you're you're exposing yourself in a different way that you're exposing yourself on podcasts and, and normal blogs. I'm not writing about some some people that I'm cutting off, you know, in you know in a blog when I'm sitting there talking about killing myself, you know. So it's it's a whole different animal, but I'm, I'm so glad that 
each and every time I do it, despite how scared I am, I still do it. Speaking of stigmas, what is your take on, what is your take of the stigma that your friends, well, strangers will support you more than your friends support you? Yo, I have that conversation like at least once a week. Come on, <laughs> Come on. It's true. It's that true. It's true. It's true. I look, I I I have I have a I have a couple people that that will call me and 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 they they'll call to you know check on me or you know talk about their day or whatever and they ask me how, how I'm doing. I'm talking about content, 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 content. This girl didn't fuck me over. Content, content, content. Damn, I'm horny. Content, content, content. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, damn, like you are making it hard to pick a clip to show people. <laughs> good. Good. Whatever one y'all choose, whatever one y'all choose, good. I want to have a lot of clips, but that that's really that's really it. Like, I I talk about it, and they just be like, oh, okay, and they don't have an invested interest at all. So, but I have people that I have literally never met or met like one time. And and they will sit there and send me messages that damn me damn near have me in tears because I'm sitting there like, you listen, you 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 love me, oh my god, you love me, and it's it's just an amazing feeling to have. Yeah, I I'm literally I was literally thinking about this today, like on my, on my walk. You know what? When I get when I get home, when I go when I go home to Louisiana, I'm going to my mama's iPhone, mom, pay for your phone. I'm going to sit there and do a, a five star rating on Apple Podcast myself on her phone, and I'm with anybody else I see. I'm going to do that because well, she's like, "Well, I, I don't know how to do it. I'll show you. I'll I show you." I got you. I did the same yeah. thing with my dad. Yeah, so I understand. Anybody else got any questions before? Because I feel like I'm taking over. Yeah, being in Atlanta, you know, content creator. Atlanta is right now the mecca. Black of mecca. Everything. Yep. Um, on it. It's it's. You ever find yourself like congested? Just when it comes to the fact that just congested in the market of podcasts and, and content creation and, and kind of behind, so to speak. Because if you if you're not getting things out right then and there, ten people are beating you too. It's it's true. It's true. It it it, it I you know what everybody has different has a voice, and you have to you have to kind of hone what how how unique your voice wants to be and i think i think sometimes when when you when you see all these dope content creators and, and they're doing their thing and they, and you see all this stuff one if if i see some good shit i'm still in it i mean that's just what it is like i'm still like i'm not gonna quote unquote just steal everything they do but i was like oh they did this clip and they did it this way and they went to canva and did this me too you know so it's all about helping each other as well but i think at the same at the same time it's like you you gotta find your unique voice, and I think sometimes I I after every season I, I kind of sit back and listen. Like, okay, I've listened to these episodes. Did I really get across what I wanted to get across? Did I did did I let the guests shine enough? Did did I tell my own story so that so the audience could be invested in me? Um, you know, can can I be a little edgier? Can I be can I be a little bit more laid back? Do I need to be a little bit more controversial? If I am controversial, am I selling myself for 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 downloads? And these these are conversations, the valuations I'm I'm constantly having after each season. So it's 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 important to just fine tune your voice, but just know that your voice is a unique voice. And regardless of all the traffic out there, if, as long as you can maintain that consistency, people will come. You just got to be consistent with it. I'm glad you said that because that brings me to one of my last questions. But um, you said you have to make sure that your voice is unique. And we went over this whole episode talking about what you do. And under your umbrella, it's not just a podcast. You have layers to you. So really, you kind of answered my question, like, over the course of the episode. But if you were on, if you were giving your elevator pitch, what would you say makes you different? Damn. Mm. <laughs> Whew. That girl spitting. God damn. She already used big words. She already used big words. She's killing this shit. No, um, that I'm glad you answered that because I'm glad you asked that because I had that's one of the things that I wanted to fine-tune this season. I was like, 
Because I, I tried to explain to people, oh, you know, I do a podcast. It's, it's about damn time. You know, I'll be like talking to people. You know, I'll be having dope <laughs> conversations with dope people. And they be like, what makes them dope? Huh? <laughs> 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 I mean, because cause, they, cause they dope. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> they dope because I said they dope. Shit. Yeah, they <laughs> so I had to kind of fine tune that. And, 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 and what I did was, I decided that I wanted to change the narrative by changing the perspective. And what I want to, what, what I mean by that is I want to have these one-on-one -on -one conversations with people that inspire me. And I want to take subjects and I want to be like, Hey, what's up with this? Because I don't know if I'm feeling this. So um, I got an episode that's, that's coming out soon. I'm talking to a person who is married. I'm talking like happily married. I'm talking like, I'm talking like her and her husband share social media account married. Whoa, that's a little too much for me. I need to figure out how y'all doing this shit. You know what I mean? Like that's that's I. You gonna have to convince me on that shit. Or I I want to have a, a podcast episode with people who are in uh, ethical non monogamous relationships. With why 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 are y'all you know dating these people? How how does it work? I want to have a podcast episode with this woman who sells male sex toys. Males have sex toys. What the fuck is going on with that? Oh so yeah. I just, yeah, sorry. I just saw something yeah. Look. Woo. Silicone is amazing. Oh. Ain't that right, oh. executive producer? Well, that was left. This got real deep, real fast, no pun intended. Like, <laughs> this just got. Real deep, real fast. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh my. God. Please excuse me for our shenanigans. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> what but <the> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what won't they say? Right. Where's the line? <laughs> no, there ain't no line. That's what makes y'all special. No. Like, just, hey, just keep I shooting. I definitely appreciate that. Yes. So we didn't forget. We want to know where we can find you and what are your, like, how do you want people to find you? Put your yes, information please. out. Oh, okay. That's quite simple. If you're looking for me, looking for me personally, that's the, the whole damn show. You can find me there on, on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. Um, I probably got a Tumblr. I don't know if they still exist, but yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. I got, I got all that. The whole damn show. That's D-A-W-H-O-L-E-D-A-M-N-S-H-O-W. Um, I do the um, It's About Damn Time podcast that is available on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, most most of the time every Tuesday, unless, you know, somebody got to take a mental health break, whatever. I mean, but it's, it's coming out Tuesday, whatever. So every Tuesday, the Vex Intellects podcast, where I'm a member, one of four on that show, that comes out every Thursday. And it's uh, all, the, all these shows are available on all podcasting platforms, Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, you can ask, you can ask whenever um, you Alexa, whenever you get your, you can ask Alexa, Alexa will play the podcast for you, all that. So. All right. That's awesome. I still feel like, um, so I got a question. So mm -hmm. the, the damn awards are coming. Yeah. The like, awards are coming. I, I'm, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I'm going to inbox you. We're going to get some info on the damn awards. I want to go. <laughs> I want to be a I, You know what? I'm, I'm trying to make it so, bigger. Um, I'm thinking about. I'm... <laughs> so really, it's him posting the category on social media. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, and they yeah. use white to it's see not like who's the in the category. Oh, I thought it was like. It's not a... I ain't gonna lie. I thought no. you put the venue and like no. down. Like, eventually, I, gonna... I want to get there though. Eventually, I want to get there. Okay. So that's the pl you... that's the plan. So I think this year I'm I'm trying I'm gonna try to do more as far as visual content instead of because all, all these other years I've just been typing it up. So okay. I might have a, I might have a couple parts on there where I'm doing I might have some announcement on, on the podcast so that way if you want to sit there and No and, joke, and, like you have me, you have me the people be like give it up, they walk yeah. on the stage. Yeah, and they so, inboxing you and mad that they didn't get a damn moment. award. Like, that's for real. So I don't have a question. I just like to say please review this interview so when you're ready to find your first host for your first annual one. You can choose me. You don't have to choose them. I'm very personable and I'm nice to look at, so. 
that you are. That you are. <laughs> I got y'all. I you know what? I love I love y'all. Y'all are y'all are so fucking dope. Yeah, y'all are so fucking dope. <laughs> I definitely appreciate that. And I'll again want to say thank you so much for agreeing. Mm-hmm. I know that I hit you up kind of on the fly, but I had I wanted to get you on here for a while. It's just scheduled. I, I- I know how it goes. Trust and me. I'm going to get a few more followers and a few more layers to my personality. And then I'm pretty sure you're going to ask me to be on your show. So, yeah. And it's, it's coming. Somebody you, gonna be you don't need the feelings. followers for that. It's coming. Look, somebody going to be in their feelings, but I feel like, like so far, like you were probably our best guest. Mind you, his brother. My own damn has brother. Been has been a guest. <laughs> well, Sorry, I appreciate Peach. that. Sorry, TJ. I enjoyed sorry. TJ episode. <laughs> yeah, I love TJ's episode because that was definitely one of our best. But this just kind of like overshadowed it. I guess he's well, saying you picked him out the number one spot. Yeah, but I didn't you know, say he was number one. Hey, man, I just want to put that that's out a there. Nice spot to hold for what three years? And he was here for that one. The first uh, time. <laughs> sorry. Why you act like we're like season <laughs> fucking fifteen? <laughs> because we and season been, four, and I've been going. This is. This is not, is this four? We is don't, it, we kind of, we don't. Y'all broke up, did y'all break up the-, the Hold up, first of all, we've never broke, okay, so I'm look. saying, did y'all break up the year with Becky? <laughs> like, did y'all break that year? We haven't been, we've been designated two seasons. Season. Becky, we've been through two seasons. Honestly, what we do is we record shows until we need to take at least a three-week break, and then that's our break, and then we come out with a new season. <laughs> we don't really have seasons. We just this unorganized as fuck. And this is really what they won't say because we don't know what the fuck we doing. We just sit in front of the camera and shoot the shit every couple of weeks. That's all I know. And I don't know what season what we makes that We funny, could be on season 15 like Criminal Minds. I don't fucking know. What makes that funny is like I literally <laughs> just started trying to organize us a little bit more. And that shit is hell. So I can only imagine what you go through. This shit is hell. Like, I'm trying to get us on Apple and Spotify and all that shit. Oh, my God. That you want to know what's horrible. funny? Freeze like this face and make it a meme. Because I this is the first time I didn't ever heard about him trying to... Or, I thought we was organizing together. I I was... Yeah, this is me going on this tyrant. I'm chilling. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, no. no. The most chill he's ever been. Ever been on an episode. Good God. Well, like, I'm, I'm going to say his rants, he'd be like, yo, but I don't understand how. <laughs> I always love to be sitting up here doing horse. this. Because they can never get deep enough. No. And they they try so hard. So hard. They get grown men don't understand how we do this. Like, he's been the most chill he's ever been. Jared, I'm going to be real with you. The reason you UA's favorite guest is because you don't only guess that we'd have had with more teeth than him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then we because <laughs> this baby got 52 teeth in his mouth 51 i got one removed oh i'm sorry <laughs> look i need y'all to know I'm regardless of that regardless of that regardless of that i am no i i'm about to ask y'all so i'm glad that y'all are are, are going and moving towards apple podcast and google because you know you I'm invest. I'm emotionally invested, in y'all. So you know that was gonna be my question. Like, yo, what's what's up with this? Cause, cause court as soon as as soon as you hit me up and was like podcast, I was like, let me type up it. Wait, why? Where y'all at? No where lie, y'all, where no y'all? lie. I'm not gonna halfway lie to you. I listened to your podcast, and then I was like, I text her right after, like, yo, we need to be on the major shit. So we tried, but none and- of us have had podcasts podcast experience so when we were trying to figure out how to upload it into i'm not technical so i'm gonna gonna give it like three weeks and then after that we gonna make it do what it do so that's why we went to youtube and then youtube it was like well i don't really want to record i feel like we get better interaction when we go live so that's why we started with facebook so I really want to be on the mainstream and I want to have episodes where people can go back and listen to at their leisure without having to necessarily view the whole video or whatever. But it's just a work. Apparently we're four to 10 seasons in and we still, we getting it together. Well, well look, I'm, I'm here. Use me as a resource. Uh, you know, so you, you know, just, you got the, you got the, like the pod, it's podcast and hosting sites. 
what you need. And, and, it, and it really depends on how how much you want to invest on it. Those podcasts and hosting sites are going to get you on, on all that stuff. But you have to you have to have that that create that and have that RSS feed. So whether you mm-hmm. want to sit there and use like Lipsyn or I use Captivate or it's it's a lot of them. Um, you pay a certain thing, a certain amount of money a month to have your podcast on. Now, if it's a budgetary concern, you can you can go to Anchor route. Anchor is free. Here's the issue with Anchor. You know, yeah. We'll, we'll and, talk. Look, we are definitely gonna talk. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. No joke. So at, at the at the very least, you can do Anchor and then move from it. But I I wouldn't I if for what y'all trying to do and how y'all trying to monetize. I, I wouldn't I would I would invest that you you, you spend the the eighteen to twenty dollars a month and just and just and just do a, a post a hosting gotcha. site. And right. I love and I love Captivate. Captivate is good. So even so for me, and this is this is me spitballing because I, I ain't got no I ain't got no I ain't got nothing in, in invested in this. Just just my me being a fan. But I would do Captivate if it was if I was y'all. And here's why. Because Captivate, um, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't go by uh, how much data that you use, it goes by how many downloads that, that you get. So I'm paying for like 10, you know, the, I don't know, 20 some dollars, $22 for 10,000 downloads. I'm not getting 10,000 downloads, which means if I want to make one show, two shows, three shows, I can make that many shows. So with y'all personality, you can do what they won't say. You can, you everybody can have their own podcast episode. Y'all can split off and do other things. Y'all can have that. And y'all can and y'all can build a whole empire that way. So I would that's my, my that's my advice. So, you know. Yeah, because this is this is my IT guy that I was telling you about before. The <laughs> show. I, I got y'all. Just hit me up. And this yeah. is my money guy because he just did the math and told me how much that is for the year. <laughs> so, no joke. I'm just the face, honestly. <laughs> I just show up. No, you, no, you, you, you didn't you hit me up to get, get me on the show? Oh yeah, I'm. Well, he's You're pretty famous. sociable, but I'm. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm like. I'm y'all like, play a part. Y'all all play a part. All y'all do what they gotta do. Yeah, yeah. It's the face though. But it's like a, she, like she has been talking about you. Why are you talking time. like we? Like yeah, like you really are. She's boss lady. And she don't like, die, like, like, I, I mean, like, you are right, but you're not out here. You don't. You're not a social person, so you're not out I here trying to get interviewees. Right? Nah, Courtney be like, <laughs> he didn't met me in person. He knows what I'd be like, and he met me when I was skinny, so he knew he knew I was fine, fine when I was skinny. Nigga, I knew he was skinny, but I'm saying he knows how I am. You you always you always been fine, fine. Like, like, like she walking around like motherfucking honey boo boo, like my shit. fucking uh six hundred pound life or some shit. And those people make me so sad. Yo, they do. Have you ever seen that shit? What the honey boo boo? My six hundred pound life. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't watch the whole episode of that. I That's, just want like, to know yo, why everybody I mean, I on that show. Stand up and like, I'm just like, yeah. Like, yo. I just want to know why everybody on that show got a spouse. That'll rub under they rolls and shit, Yo, and I can't I got, get a taste no, of that. Maybe that maybe big ass ass meals. I got a rant. I have a rant oh, about that. Oh, like, has yes, he home. taken over you this I'm episode? This. Like, I'm no joke. Right this, right and I'm gonna say, ho, right this hoe had the nerve. Like, this dude was this, like, did you say this hoe? Yes, because I was this hoe. Malik is mm-hmm. on something else. Like, this dude, oh, no, <laughs> this dude was taking care of his wife, like, whatever. And some chick decided to inbox him, and he was talking to her back and forth. And then she had the nerve to lose her weight and leave this nigga. Yeah, they I most of them do that. Yes. Hold up, while she was I, 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 right I after the, whole, the surgery, I get the whole get left. But while she was like seven hundred pounds, she was sliding. Somebody else, no, she, somebody, no, somebody the, else. The was husband sliding. was sliding. Well, somebody slid in his DM, and he was sliding in her DM, and they was talking. And then she had the nerve to like find out and get upset after he was like rubbing under her rolls and shit. And washing her up, she had the nerve get, to get the surgery and leave this fool. <laughs> so what y'all saying is, in order, for, hold on. What y'all saying is, in order for me to get a man, I need to gain like five hundred. I didn't say anything. Pounds. He's saying no, 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 no. Give me, t- give me tips. To get a man, I, I think I would look cute with a little. So t- uh, the bad, I, the wrong you one would one not look device. cute with any <laughs> type of double, triple, quadruple. Chin. A turkey gobbler? No, no, a gully. The, 
Did you did you did you think you need to gain 120 pounds in order to get a man? Is that what you thinking? What's what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't I don't think that's the formula you need. You know I don't I don't I don't really think so. So I have one more important question. I'm so sorry. No no before before you do that I want I want to ask this: If Kev does rants every week, why is this not content? Why do you not have a a 60 second clip? To be posting so y'all can have con- why is this not content? I don't understand what's, what's happening. About yesterday, because I was having I had the best Kev's rants. Like it's about his about to be a Kev rant. Um, because it's it's a corner oh, that shit. I want to have. Like you got Courtney's corner. Oh, um, it, was, it was a couple. Well, that was the first time you were on. Now it's called Word on the Curve. Whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> but <laughs> I was like, at some point, we all like he said. If we want to have all different podcasts or and we go to Captivate route, we can all do that. But more so just content in general, like we all have different niches. And it's like, if we, and I am a, I don't like to call myself a chef. I take you on a fucking call. You're an intellectual. Oh, like, um, but, but we all, I can talk about food and just, just the restaurant business in general all day. But back to my original <laughs> on the point before I go on one of those rents. Um, I was having one of my normal uh, my normal conversations in the car that I have with myself, and they're normally the best I have of the day. And uh, <laughs> and it was one of those high conversations. I'm smoking a blunt, we driving, and <laughs> and 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 I'm like, you know, long story short, I'm thinking about aliens, of course. How I think about aliens. What? And um. <laughs> And it's like if aliens were if aliens were to invade Earth, and let's just go on the notion they're already here, they've already been watching us, yada yada yada. What the fuck would they be? And first thing come to my mind, birds, because, <laughs> and and here's how I get there. <laughs> birds can live in every habitat on our planet, including the one place none of us live, Antarctica. Emperor penguins, they can give birth there, all that nonsense. And if you were going to be anything on earth, you'd be something that can outnumber us because there's almost 8 billion of us. If you're going to take over a population, you got to be able to have the manpower. And, and you got to be able to see everything that we do at all times. And there is nothing in our environment that can do that outside of those avian motherfuckers that we call birds. And they all don't even, they live in every habitat we have. Some can swim, some can fly, some live on land, some live on farms, some are fucking pets, but birds. And that got me. Courtney has her word on the curve. See? Thank got you. it. Oh, um, <laughs> like you just said, if my rants can be turned into content, why not that? And I was like, can we name your segment High Thoughts again? And that's exactly what I thought it was going to be because. <laughs> Because that's when I get into those, like I said, my best conversations is usually in the car and I'm usually smoking a blunt. <laughs> and it's normally one of those, like something just leads into something else, leads into something else. My son asked me today, yeah, can't remember what the fuck it was, but he's like, how did I ask just that question to turn into a conversation? <laughs> because that's who your father is. Like, I don't know any other way to explain that. So to actually answer your question, Jared, let me explain something. Oh, can I give a little bit of background? Like, can I just um, tell a little bit of business about you and the podcast, not you and your personal life? Can I just tell a little bit of the background on what it took to get you back? That camera. I mean, you're going to anyway. Okay, great. As long as you know. Anyways. So Kev is the only cast member. No, why did you take that? I was, we was going to take a shot to him. Right. I was going to ask him what his favorite liquor was. And then I was going to tell him to pour a shot so we could take it together. That's going to be our new closure. Because like he said, you got to find what works for you. And our thing after we do an interview now is we're going to take a shot with our interviewee. So you could go ahead and pour up your shot after oh, I tell you exactly this story. What, oh, this is what it, we are. So. Kev is the only Yo, cast I mate. I was supposed to happen. I told you all going. You were in the middle of your birds being alien fucking <laughs> ring. Who knew that was going to be what you were going to say? So, and it was no, great. No, 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 it was no, fantastic. This is the best no, episode ever. No, I've never thought that a bird could 
turn could be an alien. I never thought that. <laughs> Probably right. because you live in human arrogance and that they gotta be those 10 foot. So I'm arrogant because I don't think the penguin that I went to the zoo to see no. is a fucking alien. That makes me arrogant. No, that you're makes arrogant me yo. human being. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Just so you know, I love these moments. These are my favorite moments. Come at me. I'm not coming at you. It's just a question. Like, I don't understand. Anyways, yeah, I'm a, well, I'm about to tell the story. Kev is the only castmate on the show who has a contract. Albeit, it's not a written contract. It's a verbal contract in which he said, I'm not carrying you, you niggas. So anytime we do an episode, I'm not doing a rant. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta talk more because I'm not going to be talking. Hold up, pause. And she used that word carrying Here for a go. very specific reason. And yeah. or if she did it to the heart right there. To the heart. Continue. That hurt? Oh no, I didn't. I did I did not. I did not use it to that was just the attitude you gave us because you was like, I'm not gonna be talking, y'all need to talk more. And every time I do Kel's I voice, I get this little wobble. It and that's just in my mind. That's a, I'm not gonna be talking. Y'all gonna be talking. Like that's, <laughs> that's so Kev has a contract. He had stipulations to come back. Essentially, my knees are still ashy for me begging Kevin like this. Please come back. Please, please come back. Well, Nothing sexual. Like... Y'all don't have to be like that. But it was like, please, Kev. Y'all know what I'll say from all this. I'm not going to defend myself or nothing. All I'm going to say is, know your worth. So (laughs) since I'm not cutting checks, since I'm not cutting checks, Kev was like, oh, no, y'all going to have to step up because I'm not doing all of this by myself. So. You know what? But you know, so you know, I'm a woman and you know, he's a man. You know, Literally. when you say, when you say shit, Man. women interpret things differently. Yes. You know, nose and smell. So when he said, here. so when he said to me, oh, I'm only coming back on the show. If y'all step it up and talk more <laughs> to me, <laughs> I, I, I heard I've that been doing, doing this show for y'all the so first three years. And da 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 da. Y'all that, gotta that, talk more. Talk That's more. what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> my man say my man say he oh, my so man say he I'm so over it. He, he say he Otis. <laughs> he not. Nice, this nigga is 56. He's not the oldest. No, no, no Otis. Nobody come to see you. He said, Otis. Otis. Ain't nobody come to see no, you, Otis. No. He said he's David Russell. Oh, my bad. Oh. My bad. I thought he said he's the oldest. My bad. That was my fault. So we want to talk about old people, <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, what did they say? 46? No, he's 56. Oh, yeah. He got 52 teeth in his mouth and he's 56. I'd say that's good for a 56 year old. Right? Damn it. Yeah. However, you want to look at it. Can right. we take this shot? Can we put the bow on it? You part your shot? I'll, let me let me go get my shot. I'm, I'm right. sorry. I'm listening right, to the story. We're going to some time because we're going to talk shit in a minute. <laughs> y'all, when this episode drops, this is going to be y'all's favorite episode. No lie. Just, just hands down. No cap. D shit. You want to stick your face over here and say, hey? Hey, y'all. What's up? Good to see y'all. Hey, hey, hey. I'm highly alive. I'm looking for you. Okay. Not I'm looking for you like you're about to fight him. Right. Yeah. That sounded very threatening. Were you at? I inboxed you. Because you want to meet up and fight? No. Is it like footloose? I don't know if you're going to get beat up. Unless it's on Tekken. I don't don't know. Unless it's on Tekken. You're not seeing that man on Tekken. He a whole legend. I'm probably not. Not a whole legend. I don't know. You didn't even whisper that. You just got off camera and said it. So he know that you don't really think he's a legend. Oh, my. I heard you famous. I'm going to go look at your little, sh- I mean, your bust- stream. It sounds like he'd be busting ass on time. Right. Yo, you got your shot? What you got a shot of? I got a shot of a uh, cognac. Okay. Ooh, what kind? What kind? A what little cognac. Uh-uh, because uh, we're not giving nobody beer. free predict. Free no, publicity. I want to know. So I tell don't. him to inbox this, you. Right? No damn that. You got some cognac. You could you, you can say what it's like. Right. Yeah, it's it's kilt. It's uh it's uh somebody put me on to this. So it's not it's, 
you know. Hey, so I was like, he can't be the lead. This is this is your lane. This is why you go on rants because when you ain't go on rants, you're all over the place. Yep, see, we all over the place. So what we toasting to? I'll let you do the toast as our guest. Well, I first of all, I want to start off by toasting y'all and toasting our all of our success in in this digital content world. Facts. Okay. I like it. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Now, before we do that, we all gotta put our cups towards the camera. Oh, you put your cups to the camera too. Great. Let's go. Towards the camera. Oh, my arms are hey, small. Let me tell you, that's good. I like it. That's all we need. All right, let's take this shot. That's not water. That's not, that's water. not water. That's definitely not water. <laughs> Dr. Stoner's shot. Have you ever had Dr. Stoner's? I'm real ignorant for chasing liquor with water. I, I can't. I no, I have not. That hurt. I taste liquor with more liquor. Yeah. Why would you do the little thing? I learned this thing on TikTok. You told to take a hold your breath in, and then like you let it out or something. Then you hold it back in again. <laughs> you don't even know how to them. do it. You can't even explain it. So how we gonna do it? I still can't. Something I want to try. You <laughs> didn't give yeah. us all this intellect the whole episode. It can't tell us how to take a shot. <laughs> nah, because I just be drinking. Like I'll be like, whether it burn or not, I pour me like another glass. <laughs> hey, just, hey, when the next time you go to Atlanta? Why? I want to go. Oh, I'm I going. Go, I want to go see. I'm going this weekend. But I can't go this weekend. Sucks to be you, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, um, shit. But no, I was going to ask questions about your kid, but we're going to have to save that to next time because I really want you to come back. You going to come back? I do. Oh. Yo, whatever y'all want me, I'm here. I don't know because I don't want to overwhelm you or I could just ask my questions when you ask me to be a, a guest. Us. Or both. Or both. Let's yeah. Let's flip the story. We can make this a part one and then make part two. Yeah. We could definitely, we'll, we definitely can link up and talk about it. Let me, order with, let me know. Okay. Let me know. I'm with it. Wait, are the pink shirts on already? By the time uh, no, we get the, his shirt, we should but, have our shirt so we could rep our own shit. But I want a damn university. Just saw him by yourself because clearly he want to rep your brand more than he want to rep I want our, our brand. Hey. I do. Hey, link, link, link is in my bio. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I got like a little direct me link and just flashes the link is in the bio. And yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all should start working on y'all merch too. Like y'all should have what we could do kind of. is a damn you and a like what they won't say, like the last name, WTWS, like Varsity. a little collab real quick. I'm, but yeah. I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it. It has been such a pleasure having you for part one, because there will be a part two. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The pleasure and is all I, mine. I'm so thankful that you came once again. Thank y'all for having me. I really appreciate okay. it. It's been a pleasure. Yes. So yes. until next time, I am your girl, Court Lynette. Kev. You see you how he introduced himself <laughs> as Kevin at Kevin. the beginning of the show, and now he Kev. Names just switch. Like <laughs> I do what the fuck I want. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still UA. Until Thanks. The atmosphere, whatever the fuck y'all want to call me. And you want to go ahead and do your outro? Oh, me? Um, I am, I am Jared Dam, aka Mr. Dam himself, aka the whole damn show. Woo! Meow, 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 meow. Meow. <laughs> this has been great. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. This is great. Until next time.